Hey everyone, it's Bot Chasers back here and continuing our look at the 1987 Transformers Generation 1 Headmasters. This time we're looking at Brainstorm. Now Brainstorm is a fantastic figure, actually one of my favorites. Um, he's actually, all of these are my favorites. <laughs> They're just so cool. Um, beautiful uh, Nebulon designed spacecraft here or jet if you will. Uh, awesome colors. I love that. Totally 80s. Um, I love that turquoise there. And he does have some gray parts here. His wings articulate here, as you can see. And that helps with the transformation, actually. But a beautiful figure. Um, awesome cockpit. Mine does have a scratch on it, which I'm a little bummed about. But you can see Arcana right there in the cockpit, piloting Brainstorm. Um, he does have some articulation on these wings as well. So you can get those straight out. Mine's a little bit loose on the side, but you can get it to stay up. So what a sweet figure and an awesome design. You can tell why kids back in the 80s were so excited about these. Not only did they look fantastic in this alt mode, but they looked wonderful in their bot mode as well. And they had that headmaster gimmick, which you couldn't pass up. It was just sweet. Now, I always like to tell you the price that I paid for these because if you're looking to pick one of these up, you want to know what to shoot for. Um, on eBay, these are going for anywhere from $65 to could be upwards of $100 depending on the condition uh, for a complete one. Complete headmasters are hard to find and that's why they're so expensive uh, because they're oftentimes missing either their headmaster or their weapons here. So I want to make sure all my robots are complete. I found this one on uh, a forum for Transformers called TFW2005, uh, $50 complete. So I thought I got a great deal on this. Um, hopefully you can find one around that same price point. Um, and if you do, congratulations, because you just got an awesome figure for a great deal. So let's take a look at Brainstorm here uh, in his alt mode with some of his other figures. So we've got Highbrow here which is that Nebulon looking helicopter. Get him put positioned in there. Chrome Dome. And right there we've got Hardhead in the background. So very beautiful set of 1987 figures. I really love these sets. Look at how different they are. Uh, the colors, the design, everything is different, but they still have that uh, unanimous Headmaster gimmick, which I love so much. So let's get these out of the way. You can see uh, Brainstorm is well uh, scaled here to his other figures. We'll look at some of the uh, details here. Beautiful long uh, nose cone here that does actually trans uh, factor into the transformation with his hinge here. He's got wheels on the bottom, one there and two there on his legs, or what will be his legs. Uh, these removable accessories here, which will actually turn into his guns in robot mode. And, of course, the canopy, which opens up on this hinge back here, to reveal inside our nice Arcana head, uh, Headmaster. And I like this, too. We've got some uh, det decals here on the panel here showing Arcana driving his uh, robot here, Brainstorm. So we'll get out Arcana. We'll close up that cockpit again. It does have a nice snap shut feature. So we'll put that right there and we'll take a look at Arcana. Now, if we look at him in robot mode, he does have nice articulation as with all the other 1987 headmasters. His legs do move here separately at the knee, but they are connected at the waist. Nice design detail here and a nice painted face. Arcana. His arms also do articulate forward, but I don't want to do that because oftentimes they break right there. And then on the back, he's got this flip down panel, which will actually help us to transform him right now. So push his legs back. Beautiful face sculpt. Uh, looks a lot like, uh, well, it kind of reminds me of Chrome Dome here in his face. Beautiful louvers here on his helmet. I just love all the detail that they put into these figures back in 87, which was fantastic. All right, so we'll put our cannon right there. Take a look at some of the accessories here, his weapons. Now, as you can tell, with Brainstorm, these weapons are different. They're not the same weapon. 
they're actually reverse uh, copies of each other. So if you're looking to complete your set, make sure you get the right one to do that. So nice uh, blasters here. I love how these actually um, factor in and clip in down here on the bottom. So it actually extends that nose cone a little bit that you might have noticed there. So I love that design feature. Looks pretty sweet with those and very ingenious engineering too. So we'll put those right there and we'll get into our transformation. Now this is actually one of the harder uh, transformers to transform and I'll show you why. It has to do with these hinges here on his legs. I don't know if it's just mine or if all of them are like that. But the first thing we'll do is fold back his nose cone. Just snaps down there. We'll fold that back. And now we'll bring his legs out. A little bit easier to do here, but because these hinges are so close together, it's kind of hard. And these ratchets, really strong. There we go. You almost think you're breaking it. That's why I'm always careful with this uh, character here. But yeah, you got to kind of force it. I don't like doing that. But uh, that's just how you have to do it with Brainstorm. And I'll fold down the rest of his legs, fold out his uh, small feet here. Kind of a pain to get at. But we'll push them back from the bottom there. We'll push them up. There we go. And that gives us something to grab onto. Those snap into place. And now his arms, we're actually going to fold them forward. We're going to fold these wings back. Actually, all of the wings, we're going to fold them back. His arms underneath here have his hand hidden. So we'll rotate that out. Pretty tight rotation there. Rotate this one out. There we go. Got his hands out now. And uh, actually, it's pretty funny with um, Brainstorm here. His arms are kind of short compared to his legs. But that's all right. He still looks like a wonderful character. Love the design. As we put on his uh, Headmaster Arcana here, snap that into place and you'll see the stats come alive. Fastest Headmaster, lowest strength, and intelligent, eh, not too bad, about an 8 there. So we're going to compare that to the other Headmasters in a minute here. But we'll mount his guns here. I always like to put the uh, hold side on the inside there. Place that in his... Arm there. This one fell out. I didn't have it in very good. Kind of got twisted to get it in there. All right, there we go. As far as articulation goes, uh, we'll show you some here. We've got about a 360 degree with his arm, although it does come back here. Let me take that out again. Oh, it does uh, hit on the leg there. So we can't get it all the way around without folding his arm in, to, in again. Just going to mount that pretty tight. There we go. Uh, nice articulation on the leg. It's pretty high knee bend there if you ask me, but it doesn't look too bad. And he's got some nice articulation in his hands too. Actually, this is one of the more well articulated figures from the 87 line. All right, we'll place him back there. Get a nice shot of him. Brainstorm. And from behind, he's got a little bit of back kibble, but it doesn't look too bad. Kind of looks like a nice tail there. I love the colors, the design, the uh, details here on the figure look great. The decals look fantastic. He's even got some detailing on the side of his legs. So let's take a look at him compared to his other Autobots. Now we've got Brainstorm here with his other Autobot Headmaster counterparts, Chrome Dome, Highbrow, and Hardhead. But you can tell that uh, Brainstorm is actually uh, pretty much mid-level as far as his size here, with Hardhead being the largest and then Chrome Dome coming in a close second place. Now Brainstorm does have a nice uh, uh, stats panel here. Let's take a look at that. So Brainstorm is the fastest of the Autobot Headmasters, and his intelligence is pretty high too, although his strength is pretty much mid-level. Let's take a look at some of our other stats here, just to compare to Brainstorm. Take a look at Highbrow. Now Highbrow is pretty much mid-level across the board. Strength, speed, and intelligence. Take a look at Chrome Dome. 
He's the most intelligent of our headmasters with speed and strength in the middle. We'll get highbrow standing up straight there. And last but not least is Hardhead, whose head just came off. Put that back on to see our stats. And we've got strength is the highest on Hardhead, uh, intelligence mid-level, and speed just a little bit lower. So that's how a uh, highbrow, excuse me, uh, Brainstorm lines up with his Autobot other headmaster partners here. Thanks so much for watching the review here of uh, Brainstorm. Really appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe to our videos and uh, please check out our other headmaster video reviews that we've been putting up lately. This has been Bot Chasers.